Hi guys! Are you ready to have a boat ride? Yeah! Again, if there are no seats on the top deck available, you must go downstairs and sit inside the lower seat. Mm. Folks, the next stop will be in Bagman. Thank you.
The city of Westminster. We've now officially entered into the one square mile city of London. Incidentally, the city of London is one of the smallest, yet one of the richest capital cities anywhere in the world. Now, there to our left and behind the workings, you'll notice a couple of buildings. The red brick building that's built in the Gothic design. This is the old Zion Library. Home before they furthered their educations at Eton and Harrow, respectively. Look to the face of the building. You'll see the four statues. These represent four of this country's most famous ever scholars. From left to right, they are John Milton, Sir Francis Bacon, Isaac Newton, and the one on the right with the football wearing the Gucci jacket. That one is David Beckham. Of course, I am only joking. If you've ever heard David speak, you'll know he didn't go to school. The one on the right, that one is William Shakespeare. We are now passing beneath the Blackfriars group of bridges, as we do, coming up to the right in a few moments, you'll notice the large brown brick building with the tall chimney stack in the centre. Now this is the old Bankside power station no longer in use. Today, it's been brought up and converted into the Tate Modern Art Gallery. Now, it is entirely free to enter this building, meaning you pay absolutely nothing to go inside and have a look. Now, that must say and I won't charge you either. <laughs> Look there to our left though, and you'll see a real piece of artwork. We get a fantastic view of the impressive grey dome, golden cross of St Paul's Cathedral, said to be Sir Christopher Wren's masterpiece. 
it was completed in 1710. It did take 35 years to build at a cost of just under £100,000. The Dome of St Paul's is currently the second largest unsupported cathedral dome anywhere in the world, the largest being on St Peter's in the Vatican City of Rome. Now there to our right, we have Bankside Pier. There to our right, we have Bankside Pier. Now this will be our next stop, folks, just to pick up a few more passengers. Once again, you'll see coming into view a famous riverside pub called the Anchor. Now parts of this building date back to the year 1615, making it over 400 years old. Now over the years, such famous characters had frequented this tavern. The likes of Charles Dickens, Dr. Johnson, Samuel Pepys, Shakespeare, Tom Cruise, and even myself. We've all had a beer at the Anchor Tavern at Bankside. We're now passing through the Cannon Street. If you've ever seen the film, The Pirates of the Caribbean. Yes? Well, if you have, I'm sure you'll realise that ship there to our right has absolutely nothing to do with that film. Instead, that's a full-scale working replica of Sir Francis Drake's old galleon, the Golden Hind. More here today as a museum open to the public. We now approach the new London Bridge, opened by our present day Queen in 1973. Experts do believe that this is the fourth London Bridge that has stood on this site in the last 2,000 years. The first one that was built here was in 45 AD, constructed by the Romans. Now there to our right, and dominating the London's ever-changing skyline, you'll see the new tallest building in Western Europe, the Shard, built to resemble a shard of glass, standing at 1,016 feet tall, designed by the famous Italian architect Renzo Piano. There to our left, the white building with the clock face in the centre. This is Bolsagar House, home for this country's customs and excise. It's over here inside this building, all the illegally imported contrabands that are 